Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to look at Punnett Square Basics, solving some Punnett Squares. Before we start with some Punnett Squares, let's review some basic genetic vocabulary. A trait is a characteristic passed from one generation to another. For example, eye color. An allele is a different form of the same trait. For example, eye color is the trait and the allele would be the different colors of an eye. A homozygous dominant genotype is written with two capital letters because a dominant trait is always written with a capital letter. A homozygous recessive genotype is written using two lowercase letters because a recessive is written with lowercase. A heterozygous genotype is written using one capital letter and one lowercase. Here are the steps for setting up a Punnett square. Draw the Punnett square, write the genotypes of the parents on the side and on top and then fill in the boxes. Let's work a couple example problems. Let's go ahead and work some example problems. This first problem says, let's say that in seals, the length, the gene for the length of the whiskers has two alleles. The dominant allele, capital W, codes long whiskers and the recessive allele, smaller case W, codes for short whiskers. What is the probability of producing offspring that have short whiskers from a cross of two long whisker seals? One that is homozygous dominant and one that is heterozygous. Okay, so let's go ahead and follow the steps. And obviously we have already drawn the box. And now let's go ahead and set up the parents. Well, one parent is homozygous dominant and it says to use the W. And homozygous meaning they are the same. So I will have a capital letter because it is dominant and I will need to write two of these. So homozygous dominant is capital, capital. And the heterozygous will be a capital letter and a lowercase letter because they're different, okay? So we've step, done step one and step two. Now we just fill in the boxes. And let me show you a little bit how we fill in the boxes. And so that you can see that this is a lowercase letter, I'm just gonna write a, put a mark through it. So this capital letter goes here and this one goes down to here. And on this first one, I'm going to go really slow. This next one, it goes, follow the marker, goes here, and this one goes there. And now we repeat on the bottom. We have a lowercase w. And then this w moves down here. And now this moves all the way across and this one moves down okay so now we have the box filled in and um, so we have next what we do is you know the only way you will get the recessive trait is if you have two lowercase letters so in this you're gonna get long whiskers long whiskers long whisker and a long whisker because both of them have a capital letter so the chances of getting long whiskers are 4 out of 4, which is 100%. And then this would be 0 out of 4, or 0%. Okay, that's our first example problem. Let's work one more, and this one has something that's a little tricky, but um, we can figure it out. It says, if one parent seal is heterozygous, long whiskered, and the other is short whiskered, what is the probability that the offspring will have short whiskers? Let's, in this one, let's use the letter B, okay, and lowercase b. So first, let's write out the parents. Well, we heterozygous, that's pretty easy to write. We're going to have capital letter lowercase. But now here's the question. Which one is dominant, the long or the short? Well, it told us that before, but if you didn't know that, any time you have a heterozygous genotype, it always is the dominant trait. So we know that long whisker is dominant. And then short whiskered is going to be, the only way you're going to get short whiskers is if you write homozygous recessive. 
and now we fill in the boxes. Okay, this goes here, this B goes here, this B goes over here, this B goes there, this one goes down, and finally this one goes all the way across, and this goes down. So now, in this case, we're going to get the dominant trait, because remember, anytime you have a capital letter, you get the dominant trait. So we have one, two dominants, so that's two out of four, or 50%. And then the recessive is going to be the same because we have lowercase, 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 lowercase. So that would be 2 out of 4, 50%. Okay. Again, in summary, anytime you see that you have heterozygous, that's always going to tell you that it is the dominant trait. Hope that helps with Punnett squares. Thanks for watching Moo Moo Math and Science. Upload to new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.